Daigo Ishiyama and I traveled to Bangladesh to learn about the sanitation issues in, in the area. We teamed up with International Development Enterprises, an NGO that works in the sanitation sector, and visited a small village, well, it's actually a city, a region in Bangladesh, Rajshahi, and went out to villages in the rural areas to learn about how these people deal with sanitation. There are no sewers in Bangladesh in, this, in these areas. There are no toilets. There's no running water in most of these villages. Bangladesh, as you know, um, it's a developing country. They don't have um, any water treatment plants, any sewage lines, um, any of the, uh, the infrastructure that we got so used to in the, in, this, um, in the U.S. And they have a lot of population in the country. Um, so you have this really dense population without any um, sanitation um, infrastructure. What they basically do is build pit latrines. They, they dig a pit, maybe six to eight feet deep, line it with concrete rings, put a concrete slab over the top, and have a, a plastic pan with, with a hole that drops down into the, into the latrine. There's no kind of barrier between the, the pit and, and the surrounding um, outhouse or structure. And, and this is an issue because one of the main transmission routes for disease is flying insects. Flying insects, if there's no barrier, can get down into the pit, contact the, the feces and the bacteria and the, and the pathogens that it contains, fly out of the pit, land on somebody's food, and transmit uh, disease in that manner. So we were in the area studying how new products could be developed to make the conditions more sanitary, to, to improve the, the health in, of people in the area. They live on average, I think, one dollar a day. Um, so they don't have too much money to spend. Um, the whole latrine setup would cost anywhere from, um, from $5 to $7. It's in that range. And so we couldn't make the, this pan so expensive that you know, no one can afford it there. So we had to be uh, mindful about manufacturing, transportation. Most importantly, it's a solution that works with uh, one liter of water best things about the trip to Bangladesh was um, the, the people. The people in that area were extremely friendly and extremely hospitable. I mean, just imagine, we drive out to these little villages in, in um, you know, miles from a major city, and as soon as we would get out of the, of the car or the van that we were in, they would come running up to see, you know, who are these people visiting our village, um, welcome us into their homes, and freely tell us about about their, their toilets and, and their, their latrines and their practices and their habits. The people there were, were just extremely friendly, extremely open, and just, just wonderful to be around. With this challenge that we're taking on, we're not just raising the standard in North America, we're raising the standard in developing countries too.